So number 17 then, which is the last question in the 2018 Advanced Higher Maths. Ten mark question, broken into little bits and pieces, and it's all McLaurin's expansion here. Kicking off for two marks with this. Obtain the McLaurin's expansion for this e to the 2x up to and including the term in x cubed. Well, it wouldn't take much to go through the first three derivatives of that because all that's going to happen is it's going to keep reappearing itself only getting multiplied by 2 each time. But I think I'll not start that way. I think I'll start with the basic one, which is the very common one, you know, e to the x. e to the x is 1 plus x plus x squared upon 2 plus x cubed upon 6. 1 factorial, 2 factorial, 3 factorial, as far as x cubed. So for this one then, if I want e to the 2x, you just pop 2x inside it. So it'll be 1 plus, I'll just put brackets around them just now because there'll be some tidying up to do. Plus 2x all squared over 2. Plus 2x all cubed over 6. Which means that f of x is going to be tidying up. 1 plus 2x, but that's just going to leave 1, 2 in top, so it's also 2x squared plus that's 8 over 6, that's 4 over 3. 4 upon 3x cubed. Doing that gets you the first two marks. Now for part B, there's five marks. There's three marks for getting the third derivative of tan x. And then two more marks for then putting it into the McLaurin's expansion. Well, let's just work our way through it then. The first derivative will be sec squared x. The second derivative will be, now that's a function of a function, so it will be 2 sec x, that's the outside down, inside, the derivative of sec is sec tan. Lost its x there. Tidy that up. 2 sec squared tan x. Now you've got a product of something and a function of a function. There's only one more derivative to go anyway. But it's going to be quite lengthy because I've got a product, as I said, so I'll have to do this one first. So that will be 4 times sec x, that's the outer part done, times the inner derivative, sec x tan x, times the one we're leaving alone, so there's another tan x, plus, now that's been done, now leave that alone, 2 sec squared x, differentiate tan x, and that's another sec squared x. Now tidy that lot up. Well, that's 4, and that's oh, sec squared x, going cross-eyed with all this, tan squared x, plus 2, and that's sec to the power 4x. And that's what they wanted, unless they're fussy about you having it the opposite way around when it says show that. That'd be pretty mean. If you weren't sure about that, then you'd flip them over. But you get three marks just for doing that. Now, put it into the McLaurin expansion. I'm not going to have much room left. I think I'll work out these parts here, because I'll need the values of these at zero. So what's g at zero? Well, tan of zero is zero. So that's gone. That's one term less to worry about. The first derivative, well, sec, is one over cos. Cos of 0 is 1, so 1 over 1 is still 1, and square it, and it's still 1. Next derivative. Well, that's a product with a tan, so good, that goes. That's times 0, so the whole thing's 0. The third derivative, well, it's these two parts here. That's got a product with a tan in it, so that's 0, so you're just left with this. Sec, 1 over cos, so that's 1 over 1, which is 1. Power 4, still 1, doubled, that's a 2. Now you've got that, you can throw it all together in the big McLaurin pot and say this. We're starting off, I'll put this down first of all. It's g of 0 plus g dashed of 0 x, and that's over 1 factorial, that'll put it in, plus g double dashed of 0, and that'll be up to x squared over 2 factorial, plus g, plus g triple dashed of 0 x cubed over 3 factorial, going as far as power 3. So what does that give us? Well, g of 0 is gone, and this one here is also gone, so it's just these two. I've got one of this, so that's just x, and I've got two of this, 
So that's 2 over 3 factorial. That'll knock out the 2 from the factorial, just leaving a third. Well, there wasn't much to put old Dan, was there? And the term's up to x cubed. But still, that was 5 marks for getting to that. So we go to part C, hence or otherwise, obtain the Maclaurin expansion for the product of these two, e to the 2x tan x, that was the f of x times the g of x, and we'll just write it here, e to the 2x tan x would equal, well, first three, four terms here, and times the tan x, which was just these two terms. But you only want the product up to the term in x cubed. Now there's 4, 2, there's 8 different products here, but they're all not going to appear. 1 times x, that's fine. 1 times x cubed, that's still fine. 2x times x, that's 2x squared. 2x times that, that's power 4, no use. 2x squared times x, that's 2x cubed. Times that, that's power 5, that's no use. Power 4, that's no use. Power 6, that's no use. That's all you've got. So put them in order, you've got an x, a 2x squared, and then 2 and a third should be written as 7 upon 3x cubed. And lastly, for the final mark, write down, just says write down the first three non-zero terms in the Maclaurin expansion of this thing. That was the product rule by differentiating that. So if that's obtained by differentiating this, the result of this will be obtained by differentiating that. So it'll just be 1 plus 4x plus, the 3 will knock out the 3, 7x squared. Ah well, that wasn't too bad, question 17, fairly straightforward.